Hi guys, it's Rach. Today I am here with the lovely Sharon Farrell. She has Hello. just done my makeup. We have done two Kendall Jenner looks and I'm looking pretty good if I don't say so myself. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> I will have those videos, or that video, sorry, linked in the description box as well as on the screen somewhere so you guys can check it out. But for this video, we're going to be talking about some of our favorite drugstore products. Now this is particularly timely because Priceline here in Australia is currently having a 40% off sale for Wednesday and Thursday of this week. That is the 18th and 19th of November. But even for those of you overseas, these are just some really great drugstore products that we yeah. enjoy, inexpensive. And I'm going to throw it over to Sharon to kick it off. <laughs> okay, which one to talk about first? I'm going to start with base products because I feel like recently, like in the last year or so, the drugstore has really kicked it up a yeah, lot with definitely. base products like foundations, concealers, primers, the whole lot. So I'm going to start right at the very base and talk about a primer. Uh, first is the Max Factor Face Finity Primer. This is a relative new discovery for me, but this is awesome. It's a long wearing kind of mattifying primer. And I feel like this totally rivals some of the more expensive primers that I've tried. It kind of dries down to almost like a tacky finish. It's just like slightly Yeah, rubberized. I like that one as well. I've got really oily skin. I find it really hard to get makeup to last on me. And I definitely feel like my makeup stays on a lot longer when I use this. Um, yeah, it kind of almost gives the foundation something to grip onto. So I feel like I get a bit more coverage out of my foundation. Probably not great if you're more on the dry side and you like a sheer finish. Yeah. But if you're oily and like a more full coverage foundation, this is a really good primer to check out. Yes, I didn't have any bad skin reactions as well, which I always think is a, a good sign with any base product. Absolutely. Okay, I'll start off with a base product as well. These are a relatively new product from Revlon. I have mentioned these in my favorites before because I really enjoyed them. They're kind of a little bit of a do-all product. They're the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Makeup Sticks, I guess I we're just going to call them. They kind of can be used as a foundation product, like all over the face, but you can also use them just on the go as a bit of a concealer. I find them to be really forgiving on flaky or dry skin. They have a very, mm -hmm. like, almost bit of a silicone yeah, slip to them. Yeah, definitely. That's why I think I feel like they forgive sort of dry patches on the skin. And if you get, like, darker shades, you can almost use them as a bit of a cream contour, very in at the moment. Um, and I find that it works. There are sort of the lighter, darker shades. You can go Kim Kardashian or you can go a little bit lighter and just sort of give a little bit of dimension back to your face. Mm. But... I found them to come in, in real handy, so I've been really enjoying those I love, ones from Revlon. stick products. Yes, yes. So easy to use. Great for the handbag as well. Big time. Haven't melted on me yet. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like the weather right now that we're yes. having is a great test. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking on the theme of base products, I have got a foundation. Um, this is the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation from CoverGirl. I just love everything about this product. First of all, the packaging, I think it's great. It's very functional. It's not beautiful, but it's functional. It's just like <laughs> squeezy to packaging. It's really light, perfect for traveling or your handbag. I feel like you're not going to waste any product, not no, like with pump applicators. Um, the coverage, it's like medium buildable, so you can definitely yeah. get more of a full coverage and it sets to a really long wearing, almost waterproof finish. Um, it's just, it's just like, it kind of does everything that you want a foundation to do. It's just great stuff. I really, really enjoy it. And it's pretty inexpensive too. Mm. Like the drugstore overall, I find that it to be, yeah, I, I, more I do enjoy that one as well. Side. Yeah. Yeah. Very travel friendly. Yeah. That's kind of all I have to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Well, we'll, we'll go base still. These are a couple of products from Models Prefer. It is an Australian brand specifically for Priceline. These are the Soft Touch Mineral Powders and there are I think about four in the range. I have two shades here and I, I love them both. I have compared them myself and I've heard other people say as well to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders and they really are very, very similar. They're just like a soft powder. They can give you a slight, slight like luminescence to the skin without being too over the top. I can put it all over my face. I can kind of use it as a really subtle highlight if I want, mm -hmm. use them on the eyes. The brown shade here, which is called Radiant Bronze, which I think is actually the same name as the Hourglass it is. one. It is. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, <laughs> cheeky. It, it is a, it's very cheeky. Again, it's a really soft powder, a really soft bronze that you can kind of build up on your skin how you want. I don't find it to be too orange. It is warm, but it's not too orange at all. Oh, it's so almost it's just, more on the pinky brand yeah, side or something. Yeah, yeah. And it just has that, I don't know, even just looking at them in the pan, don't they look like the powders? Like totally. that one looks oh, so much totally. like dim light to me from yeah. Hourglass. It's so beautiful. So they're really inexpensive and like if you wanted to try those powders and you just can't afford them, great option. I'm going to be getting some of that. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting some great shots. recommendations here. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm going to move away from base products, just a little bit more variety. Uh, I'm going to talk about an eyeliner. Ooh. This <laughs> is another one of those products that it does exactly what you want it to do. This is the Hyper Sharp Wing from Maybelline. It's a pen eyeliner and it's got a brush tip rather than like a felt yeah. or like a spongy tip. So first of all, the brush makes it really precise. It's really pointy so you can get a really great flick. It's really densely dark black yeah, as well. It's on my eyes at the moment. Yes. I did use it on I used me. it on Rachel today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's just, it's just great kind of precise dark black. It's waterproof so it lasts really well. And the actual eyeliner itself lasts for ages. I feel like a lot yeah. of these products, they dry up after a couple of weeks, but I've had mine for... I feel like two months now and it's still going strong, like not showing yeah, any the signs one that of drying using up. Before, I think I got when it very first was launched. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, it's just great, mm -hmm. you know, very easy to use and inexpensive and awesome. I give that one a thumbs up as well. I Definitely. think you've used all of the products. I know. I just say you. Well, that means that they're really good recommendations because they're coming from both of us. Oh, true. I'm going to talk about some eyeshadows for a second here. This is another Australian brand. These are the Astralis Metallics eyeshadows. They re re were released, sorry, in a limited edition collection and then they brought them out sort of as part of the, the full-time collection. These are kind of a cream shadow, but they have a very metallic <gasps> kind of finish to them. And they remind me a lot of the Stila Magnificent yes! Metals. But I almost think they're better partially because they're like the cream, whereas the Mastila ones, you have like little drops that you can kind you of add, add to it. Yeah. This is the cream sort of built in. And if you like that really like reflective inner corner highlight or you oh want to play around, God. this one's called uh, Guns N' Rose Petals, which is kind of like a, a bit oh, of like a I pinky. Love that name. Yeah, they, they all have that kind of, they have something to do. There's like, um, I don't know, P. Diddy. Yeah, there's, there's all these different ones that kind of mix together. This one, I believe, is now called Gaga Gold, but it was originally called Beyond... Beyonce, Beyonce. I think they changed it because it was really difficult to say the name, but I really like pretty <laughs> copper color. I don't know. They're just really fun. They don't set completely. So you do have to sort of be careful where you put them right. and how you use them. But I think again, a great sort of inexpensive alternative and they're just like that really reflective wet yeah, look. Yeah, they look exactly yeah. like the yeah. steel ones. And those steel ones were crazy yeah. expensive. And if like, you really wanted to, you could like use it a bit of a highlight on the skin. Yeah. If you wanted to go like hardcore highlight, a bit of like a fluffy brush, yeah. dust it on. Oh my god, I love them. Yeah, definitely oh, worth, worth a, a shot. Big shopping list now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am going to talk about... I'm going to talk about another kind of highlighty product. This is by Physicians Formula. It's one of their nude wear shimmer strips. Even though I don't think that is actually printed on the box anywhere. <laughs> Physicians Formula, you really need to start putting the names of the products yes, on this thing. Definitely. And um, this is just a beautiful product. It's it's kind of a multitasker product. You can use it as an all over kind of shimmery bronzy highlight, or you can go into the each individual squares and use them as eyeshadows or highlighters or well, that's probably about it actually, but it's just a beautiful kind of complexion or eye product. They're so shiny, they're really metallic and foiled. And the shine, the shimmer in it is very fine. It's not like chunky, chunky. or sparkly, it's just very fine, almost like wet look shine. Um, just really gorgeous. This is formula do do some quite nice like powder face products. Mm, they do, yeah, they do um, great complexion yeah. stuff. Very versatile. I have to try that. I don't have that in my collection. Yeah, no, but it's great. Great for traveling, another one, because you have you have like eyeshadows down here and then highlights up here and yeah. you can almost use it as blush as well. I think we have that on my face as well. Yes, lots of, we have lots so of that. So if I'm glowing, that, yeah, that's, that's what this yes. is. Yes. <laughs> I'll talk about a lip product. These are quite an inexpensive product generally, but if you can get 40% off, so much the better. These are from Essence and these are just their pencil lip liners. I have a couple of shades here. One sort of a, I think it's called Hot Chocolate and it's a bit more of a sort of brownie shade there and then I have a Satin Mauve which it's kind of a little bit of a Kylie Jenner, a little bit more mm. more pinky, purpley, but even together they kind of work that way. But mm. I just find that these are quite long wearing, they're creamy, they're easy to apply, you can use them all over your lips or on their own. and. I don't know, I just think that they're probably a little bit underrated. Essence overall is a brand that doesn't necessarily get talked about as much as no. some of the other the other drugstore brands, but they do reach some decent products and mm. um And they're really yeah. inexpensive. Yeah. So if you're just looking for some lip like a lip liners, it's pretty hard to go wrong yeah. with a lip liner. These ones seem to set, they don't bleed, which is the whole point of lip liner is to, to stop that from happening. But mm. um yeah, they have some nice shades, inexpensive, worth adding to your collections, particularly if you want to ex expand 
your sort of color range. Right, if you want yeah. to try something a bit crazy, yeah. you can. Yeah. Oh, good thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to move it back to the base for just a second. And I'm not going to spend too long talking about this because I think the internet knows all Everyone about this product. Loves this, one. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is a, another recent discovery for me. I feel like I've been living under a rock when it comes to <laughs> drugstore makeup for a while. Last person to use it. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, it's just a beautiful concealer. It's got great coverage. The, the packaging or the applicator seems to divide people. Some people Definitely. really dislike it because it's kind of unhygienic. But honestly, I don't see how it's any more unhygienic than a doe foot applicator. I agree. You know, you're putting it on your agree. face and you're putting it in the thing. Yeah. Apparently, it's antimicrobial anyway, the material that they've used. I'm not really sure how effective that is. <laughs> Regardless, the product itself, it's got amazing coverage. It sets it doesn't crease under my eyes. It's just like, it takes two seconds to apply. And this is another really handy product for your handbag because with that applicator, you can just like dab it on and then either use a brush or your fingers or I like a beauty blender just to like dab it in, blend it on. Yeah. It's just really quick. It's very like spreadable too. So if you mm. need to use it in a large area for on the go, you can certainly do Definitely. it. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I like that one as well. We have similar favorites, Obviously, don't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same taste. Um, I have a brow product. This one is a newer one for me, and I actually struggle to say the name. It's the Brow Artist Plumper. Now, try say that five times fast. <laughs> You'll get into a tongue twist. I had that happen to me. But it's just a brow setting product. It does have um, some color to it and also has some little fibers to it, which are supposed to help thicken up the brow for you. Mm. I find that there aren't a ton of sort of drugstore style, like, brow gels or things that I really like. So mm. this one I quite enjoy. It has a little brush there. I like that little brush. Yeah. yeah. And it just sort of, it deposits a little bit of color, adds a little bit of volume and sets your brows in place for the day. So I like that one from L'Oreal. L'Oreal is one of the more sort of expensive drugstore brands, particularly here in Australia. So mm. if you can get a discount, worth picking that one up on sale. And for me, my final recommendation is a mascara. This is another coverall product. This is the, what is it called? The Full Lash Bloom Mascara. This is one of their new mascaras. I'm a massive fan of CoverGirl mascaras. I, I haven't tried this one yet. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it nice. a go. Yeah. I like all of them. Like, I think they're all great. But this is their newest one. And the thinking behind this one is that it keeps your lashes very, very separated, but it keeps them quite soft. So if you don't like crunchy eye yeah. like you know like crispy kind of yeah. eyelashes you'll really like this one it definitely keeps the lashes feeling quite soft and natural if that makes yeah. sense um so it's a gorgeous everyday mascara it's probably not the best one if you like you know full-on drama and you, you you need to do smoky eye every day it's probably not going to be dramatic yeah. enough for you but it's a beautiful just everyday running out the door you don't want your lashes to look overwhelmed with product it's really Maybe it's a good for like that. school mascara. Yeah, this would be a good school, school mascara, mascara. Definitely. Or like, yeah, you, yeah. You and in a rush on the way to uni, you just want to put a little bit of mascara on, yeah. go out the door. Absolutely. Like that and the well. brush is nice and small as well. I think Coverall are great at these more kind of plastic ones. Yeah. Um. So it's it's very easy to use. You don't. It's not too big, so you don't end up putting mascara all over your eyelids. Yes, I am a <laughs> very bad um when it comes to that kind of thing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I think we all suffer from that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not too expensive either. But again, forty percent off. Even again. My last product is from Max Factor. It is their Cream Puff Blushes. I adore these. I think they're I so have pretty. These. Yes, I, I do. Like I these. thought this would be like a joint favorite mm. of ours. They're just some really pretty colors. I love the kind of marbled effect because mm. you can kind of get a little bit of a variation in the color if you want to. Like mm -hmm. this one has, I found that even swatching them in store, there was a little bit of variation between them. You kind of swirl the colors together. They're just soft. They are buildable, so you can kind of build up the color or have like yeah. a really light wash. They're not too hard to go wrong with them. Yeah, yeah. It's very hard is, to overdo it. Yes, which yeah. is what I like with a blush. Sometimes overpigmentation when it comes to blush can actually be its downfall because yeah. I am a little bit heavy-handed sometimes. Well, especially that when you're like running out the door. Yeah. You don't want to be like yeah. taking off the excess and no. being careful. You're like, you yeah. just want to throw it on. And there are some very like nice wearable colors. Like this is a bit more plummy. This is the um, lavish mauve. And then you have ones. This one's a little bit more neutral. This is the That's an nude one. mauve. So this one's a little bit more like it's a good one for maybe if you're wearing like a bold lip and you don't want to clash with it or something like that. I don't know. It's fun to play around with blush and lipstick, but mm. there's some really, really pretty colors there. This one is the seductive pink. Yeah, I and I also one. have lovely pink at home as well. But I don't know where I put it, but really, really nice. Definitely worth checking out from Max Factory. if you're in the um, mood for some new blush. And blush is one thing that I think, I don't know if there's as much for some reason in Australia in Priceline 
as like a category? Yeah. Do you think? No, I would I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. I was just in Priceline today, not realizing that the sale is tomorrow, <laughs> and um, looking for blushes. And yeah, I kind of struggled yeah. across the different brands. There's I feel not, like for some reason they blush disappeared a little bit, but mm. they brought it back with Max Factor, and I would definitely recommend them. Mm. So I think that brings us to the end of our drugstore recommendations. We probably go on and on and on. Yeah. I know that you I, have I, had, a, I had a struggle to yeah. kind of narrow that down to six I products. certainly did too. But we would love to hear some of your favorite drugstore recommendations. If you want to share them in the comments below or yeah. let us know what you plan on picking up in the sale. Yeah. It will still be on tomorrow. So you've still got a little bit of time and I still might go shopping. So I'd love to hear your recommendations if you've yeah. got something There's always for room for more makeup. There is always room for more makeup. You can just buy more storage if you need to. <laughs> yeah. That's also, of course, don't forget to check out the makeup tutorial for this look and another look from Sharon. And we, I'll have a, her channel linked below also. Definitely check it out, as well as her website. Um, she has some great content there, so you can, oh, you can go you. check it out. I never know whether it goes from, whether you call it a blog or a website. What's the difference between, I when does it go know. from a blog to a website? I still feel like it's a blog. Well, I will link her blog slash yeah. website in the description yeah. box below for you guys. Definitely go check it out and subscribe to both our channels if you are new. We would love it. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys all next time. Bye. Bye. Ta -da. Easy. Done. 17 minutes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Good. How are we going to start this video? <laughs> just just <laughs> glitter my hair now. <laughs> That's what It's happens. never going anywhere. Um, okay, I'm gonna stick on the theme of base products. <laughs> Technical difficulties. This is yours now. I oh, know, so now I have to actually talk and I don't know what I'm going to say. Okay, and then the last part. Oh. <laughs> it's not a video of mine unless something drops, so at least you did it, not me. <laughs> Half blushes, sorry. <laughs> I still think there's going to be some weird looks because when you're talking, I'm like, do I just look at you? And oh, then I'm like, yeah, am I exactly. ignoring them? And then I like smile back and I'm like, oh yeah, I totally said like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm so close to you, but in the video, it doesn't look like I'm not close yeah. to you, but like in real life, I'm like.